Hello everyone, it's Patrick from Vicious Computers and today I've got a new guide for you all about partitions. Specifically, we're going to be talking about a Steam Deck tutorial and I'm going to show you how to resize and move partitions without losing any data, without having to rebuild your Steam Deck image. So this would affect anyone who has dual boot set up. I'm going to show you real quick, if you had followed my guide on dual booting, I'll, I'll link it in the description and maybe have a, a card up on the video. If you uh, Followed my guide, we have shared storage, which means we wanted to give the majority of our space to the Steam OS. So I have a large amount of space for home here and also the SD card. These are both available in Steam OS and available to me in Windows. And I set up my Steam, my Epic Games, Battle.net, you name it. They're actually installing all of their games here in the shared storage and I've had no issues with it. It's working great. So all of the games that I have on Steam and Windows are on the shared space. All the games I have on Steam OS are in the shared space. But uh, as I've been talking to some of the users that have followed along, we ran into one little issue. Xbox Game Pass. Because it's made by Microsoft, it doesn't install as a program. It installs as a Windows app. And that means all of the files for this go into where all your Windows apps go. So that's C drive program files, Windows apps. This is where paint, snipping tool, the Windows store, photo editor, every Windows app goes here. But if you install any games from the Xbox Game Pass, like I just installed Toho Luna Nights, that's where it goes. And unfortunately, it doesn't let you choose an alternative drive location to install those games unless it's NTFS partitioned. So we can't use our shared space. So if you're someone who either did a dual boot on Windows and you found that you needed more space on Windows or you needed more space on SteamOS and you set those partitions up in a way that now is hampering the, you using the unit the way you want, you don't have to rebuild it. What we're going to show you is how to modify those partitions and keep all your space. So we're in Windows right now. I just wanted to show you this part and let's jump over to the SteamOS. All right, so here we are. We just rebooted and chose to go into the Steam OS instead of Windows, and we're in game mode right now. So the first thing you want to do is just go to your menu, go to your power options, and then say switch to desktop. And once we get into desktop mode, let's go to our start menu, go to the system options, and we're going to go to the KDE partition manager. I love how it's all built right in, so it makes this so easy. You don't have to go download anything. It's already all built right into the Steam OS. Let me put my password in. All right, let me show you what we've got going on. On the, this is my external SSD up here. This is our internal drive here. All of our partitions. So the, the home partition is our main space for installing everything under SteamOS, and we're sharing that space, in my case, with Windows. But this NTFS partition is our Windows-only partition. So what we want to do is we're going to take away a little bit of space from Steam's home partition and add that space to Windows to make more space for any Windows-exclusive applications and programs. So let's go to the home partition first. The big one up here you have a graphic interface at the top you can right click on the actual graphic or you can right click on the item listed down below up to you we're going to say resize move and the easiest thing to do is you can type in numbers but it's easier to just drag and uh, go to the graphic until you get the little mover let's say 50 gigabytes or so just so we can see the difference and plus I want most of my space on the Steam OS since I'm sharing it. So we're gonna click OK. And the first thing you have to do now is apply that change. It'll show you what's gonna happen, but we haven't applied it yet. So we have about 700 gigabytes on home. We'll have this 50 gigabytes of unallocated space. And we have the Windows partition, which is about 200 gigabytes. So let's click Apply. And it's going to go ahead and run through those op those options that we chose. Click on Apply Pending. 
Shrinking it shouldn't take too long. All right, so our shrink operation just finished. That took uh, a minute and 13 seconds altogether. Let's click OK. It's going to rescan everything to give you the updated graph, which you can see now looks like what we anticipated. Now here's the tricky part, the part where people were getting stuck and the reason I'm making the tutorial. You can just right click and shrink, but you want to right click now the Windows partition and then go to resize move. And you grab this and you're like, how do I expand it? Well, you have to move it first. <laughs> so you can grab it in the middle, slide it over to the left. I mean, just think, think about this space. This is linear space on a drive and you can't extend this backwards. <laughs> um, so what you have to do is actually move it. We're going to move all of that data from the end of the drive to like the beginning of that partition space. So it fills in that empty allocated space. And then we're going to extend it. So right now I moved it and then I'm dragging it to extend it. You can see that by doing this, we're going to have a 250 gigabyte partition for Windows. Let's click on OK and apply. You can see how this is going to affect everything. The SteamOS home partitions here. The Windows partition is there. Let's go ahead and click on Apply Pending part Operations. And this one's going to take a little bit longer because it's not just changing a partition size. In this case, it's actually going to have to move our data. So it's going to move our data and extend that partition. So I'll come back to you in a second when that's finished. All right, that process finished. It took seven minutes and 23 seconds, which actually wasn't too bad. But since we are moving data, depending on how much data you're moving, this time can change quite a bit. So with those changes done, we just click OK. It's going to rescan everything and we'll go take a look. Now we see our home partition for SteamOS is about 700 gigabytes. And our Windows NTFS partition is about 250 gigabytes. Just the last thing I'd like to do is I'm going to reboot the Steam Deck and go back into Windows and show you what it looks like from the Windows side and verify that everything works. Okay, here we are. We booted back into Windows. No issues. Let's go look at our file system to verify our changes. And this PC, our C drive, you can see, is now 245 gigabytes as expected. So if you follow along with this guide, whether you used my dual boot method in your sharing space or you used somebody else's method and you only have dedicated space for each operating system, this means that at any point in time, if you need to either give Windows more space or SteamOS more space, you need to change those partitions to accommodate what you're trying to install, it's not a problem. You're not going to have to lose your data. You don't have to re-image the Steam Deck and start all over again. You can keep all your settings, all your plugins, and just make these changes. You can do it both ways, and I'm pretty sure the tutorial will help you out with that. So with that, I hope everybody found this video both educational, entertaining, and valuable in some way, shape, or form. Once again, this was Patrick from Vicious Computers, and I'll see you next time.